What's up everybody, once again my name is Matt and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda. In the last episode we got some items, got some heart containers, and took on the level 1 temple. In this episode, well, we're pretty much going to do the same thing, you know, minus completing the level 1 temple again, because that would be kind of pointless, so instead, let's replace that with the level 2 temple. Sound good? Alright, so, uh, to get things started, oh man, I really should have got that rupee, because, well, the first thing that I want to do is actually go and buy the blue candle that I talked about in the last episode, and I said that costs 60 rupees, now, since we only have 25, uh, we kind of have a problem, but... Thankfully, I do know of a secret that we can get that will give us 30 rupees So all we got to do is make up the remaining five and hopefully We can get lucky with one of these enemy drops and it'll give us like five or ten rupees and oh my gosh That was perfect. All right, so I don't think you guys understand like how lucky that actually is because Getting what you need when you need it from enemies is kind of difficult in this game So it's a secret to everybody well the secret is 30 rupees and obviously it wasn't a secret to me because I knew about it But um yeah the enemy drops in this game are kind of weird like they're not entirely random I'm pretty sure there is a pattern to it because I remember like a couple of years ago someone uploaded a video like explaining how the enemy drops work. It was a really long, like, 20 minute video, I think. And it's sort of like based on, you know, what frame you're on in the game, and also like what item the enemies dropped last. So there is like some way that you can manipulate it. But, um, yeah, I totally forgot exactly how you do it. So for me, the items are pretty much random, but, um, we've been getting really lucky thus far in this project. Like, I mean, we're only on episode two, but, um, in episode one, like, we got bombs really, really early, and then, uh, in this episode, we got that five rupees exactly when I needed it, so, yeah, we're doing good thus far, guys. Anyways, check it out, it's another secret to everybody, and this time, it's just ten rupees, I mean, that's still more than what we had, so, I'll take it. Uh, right now, though, I'm basically gonna go around in kind of like a giant circle, and just sort of collect all the secrets along the way to the level two temple, and this is just a shop, so, boy, this is really expensive. Not really, dude, but, um, I'm not interested in anything that you have to offer, so let's keep going. I believe on this screen, though, if we burn the fifth bush from the right, we'll find a cave with something very, very important in it. Yeah, there we go, another heart container. Hooray! Now, it is worth mentioning that, um, when you go to use the blue candle, it spits out the fire in front of you, uh, two blocks. So, you want the fire to land on the bush that you want to burn, so... When you're going to burn a bush, make sure you stand like one block away from it. That way the fire lands on top of it, and that will burn the bush down. Like, if it goes directly over and lands like past the bush, it probably won't burn it down. There we go, another 30 rupees. Not bad, not bad at all. Now, like I said, I know it seems like we're going in a circle, but don't worry. We are still making our way towards the level 2 temple. It's actually pretty close by, but, um... I do just want to pick up some of these secrets that we couldn't get before, since obviously we did not have the blue candle. Although we have been to like most of these areas before, or at least like one screen down from where we are right now. Um, I think there's actually another secret I can get if I burn this bush as well. Yeah, there we go, so let's see what this one is. Wow, that guy took a little while to appear, but um, let's see. It is 10 rupees, alright, not bad, not bad at all. I know there's a big one, like, right around here. I think it's actually, uh, this screen. So, hang on, I want to burn this bush, I believe. And inside here, we should be able to get ourselves 100 rupees. Let's see if I'm right. Yeah, there we go, that's the big one, sweet. Now that we got that, I think that's pretty much everything that I wanted to get on the way to the... Uh, level 2 temple, and I gotta stop taking damage here, so let's be a little bit cautious since I really don't want to enter the level 2 temple missing like half of my HP. That would kind of stink. Honestly, if I had full HP, the level 2 temple would be even easier since, um, well, I'll be completely honest with you guys, the level 2 temple, if you keep your sword laser the entire time, is a complete joke. Like, it's even easier than the first temple, so... Yeah, although I will admit, um, the fact that we have, like, the white sword already kind of makes us stronger than I think the game really expects you to be at this point, since, uh, generally speaking, I don't think people pick up the white sword, or at least you're not intended to pick up the white sword until, like, 
level three, so we're kind of already stronger than we should be, so we can kind of like one hit a lot of enemies, whereas if we had the wooden sword still, it would take like, I don't know, two or three hits. Right here, that was the entrance to the level two temple, so let's see if we can get a heart from this Octorok real quick, and gosh dang, I'm in go. Oh, I did not want to activate that guy. Let's go in the temple. <laughs> I kind of wanted some hearts, but you know what? I'll take it. So we got three and a half hearts. We can probably go through here without too much of a problem, although we do have some new enemies. We got some ropes. So ropes in this game are kind of weird. Basically, once they see you, they will dash at you very, very quickly. You can still kill them simply by just like slashing your sword at them, but um, does make them a little bit tricky since you don't want to get too close to them and you want to give yourself enough reaction time to pull out your sword and stab them in the face. Other than that though, level 2 is fairly straightforward. In fact, there's a couple of rooms in this temple you can completely skip over and have no repercussions whatsoever. Now, I could be wrong, but um, I don't think this temple even has like a special item to it. Like, I think at most, it has an upgrade to our boomerang that for one, isn't like the most important upgrade ever. And if I'm not mistaken, we can actually get that upgrade later on from a shop or something. Although I could be wrong about that now that I think about it. So, um, here's what I'll do. I'll show off, like, where to get that upgrade, but I won't actually get it. And then, um, I'll double check, like, after I finish recording this video to see if I can get that upgrade somewhere else. And if I can, I'll just go and get it later on if I can't. I'll attach like a clip at the end of this video that will show me going back through this temple and picking up that upgrade because honestly, I really don't want to miss anything in this game and that's a very easy thing to do. Like at least not the important things like upgrades or um, stuff like that because if there's a secret like stash of rupees somewhere in the overworld, obviously if I don't really need it, I'm probably not going to go out of my way to go and get it. But um upgrades and heart containers and stuff like that, of course, I want to make sure I get all of those, so this will be a 100% playthrough. Anyways, now that we have the map, uh, I can safely tell you guys that, uh, all the rooms on the very right side of the map can be skipped with little to no repercussions, like, really, the only thing you're gonna miss out on is, um, the secret old man who will tell you, like, a very cryptic hint on beating the boss of this temple, which, I guess I could show off because why the heck not, but um, every other room you can pretty much skip unless you can't get the magic boomerang anywhere else. Speaking of which, if you want to get the magic boomerang now, uh, come into this room and defeat those blue enemies with the boomerang. They will give you the magic boomerang, but like I said, I'm pretty sure we can get that from a shop. If I'm wrong, you'll find out at the end of this episode. But uh, for now, I'm gonna go with my gut feeling and just move on through here and make my way towards the boss because we are actually almost done with this temple. Believe it or not, I could really use some extra hearts, man, because I'm taking a ton of damage here and I really don't appreciate it. And wow, that time stop is completely useless since I already killed all the enemies on that screen. But um, yeah, some people were asking about the stopwatch. It only works per screen, so once you leave the screen, uh, the effects of the stopwatch go off. Anyways, right up here is where we're gonna find our friend, the old man. Now, Dodongos dislike smoke, so yeah, that's your very cryptic hint. But being that we're playing this game in 2015, and uh, I'm assuming we've all played like other Zelda games, we should know by now that of course, Dodongos do not like bombs. So yeah, we're gonna wanna use bombs to defeat the boss of this temple. It's fairly simple to be completely honest and oh my gosh that stopwatch is literally perfect all right see it's really useful like when there are still enemies in the room not so much you know after you kill the last enemy now let's grab our bombs and go and take on the boss of this temple which is a dodongo so really simple just uh, wait till he's right in front of you and place the bomb do that twice and guess what the boss is dead. Yeah, that's all there is to it. And now, well, we are done with the level two temple. So let's get our Triforce Shard and get out of here, baby. Yeah, just like that. Fairly simple, like I said. All right, so now that we're done with level two, uh, very quickly, let me actually make sure we can get the magic boomerang somewhere else. If not, then I'll just uh, cut back here and I'll see you guys in a second. 
Alright, so what should come as a surprise to nobody is that, well, I was wrong. In fact, you can only get the magic boomerang in the level 2 temple. Hmm, that actually makes sense. So why I thought you could get it from a shop, I have no idea. But, um, yeah, we should really go through here rather quickly and just get the magic boomerang and leave. There's no need to, like, take on the boss again or do anything like that. Sadly, yeah, all the enemies do respawn, so that kind of stinks, but still shouldn't make getting through here any harder. The only problem is I really don't want to lose a lot of HP while doing so since, I mean, one of the nice things about completing a temple is it gives you full HP, so yeah, taking damage again kind of stinks, not gonna lie. Anyways, let's do it guys. Let's get this magic boomerang once and for all. Yeah, the annoying thing about this room and why I didn't want to do this originally was just because of these annoying freaking like laser balls that shoot from the corners of each of the rooms. They can make you take a ton of damage, but there we go. Got the magic boomerang. Let's just get the heck out of here, man. I am totally done with this temple and hey, thanks for the heart rope. I'll take it. Alright, um, so now that that is done, I can finally say we are officially done with the level 2 temple. Let me just try and get some extra hearts here, if I can. Alright, whatever, I'll take the extra money, I guess. I mean, it's like a consolation prize. If I need to, I can go to, like, one of the shops and, like, buy a heart. But I think for the most part, we should be okay, like, down only one heart. Not really that big of a deal but there we go now we got the magic boomerang and we are good to go and hey there we go all right only missing half heart i'll take it anyways that seems like a good place to end off the video so if you guys enjoyed this part of like rating would be greatly appreciated if you want to see more consider subscribing but once again guys my name is matt thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you in the next one